Hi guys, in this video I'm going to help explain the function notation for when transforming graphs. So, at the beginning of a question you'll be given a graph as a function of x. This is usually written down as y equals f of x. It's the original graph that you will be applying your transformations to. So, the first transformation I have is y equals f of x plus a, where the plus a is in brackets. What this means is you have a translation of minus a in the x direction. Ultimately, your graph will move left by whatever your value of a is. An easy way to work this out is to subtract the value of a from the x coordinates that you are given on the graph of y equals f of x. Secondly, y equals f of x minus a, where the minus a is inside the brackets also. This is also a translation of uh, in the x direction, but this time by positive a. Therefore, what this means is it will move right by whatever your value of a is. Ultimately, you need to add a to the x coordinates that you are given in your graph y equals f of x. The next transformations that we've got is y equals f of x plus a where the plus a is outside of the brackets this time. This is a translation of positive a, but this time in the y direction. So the whole graph is going to end up moving up by whatever the value of a is. To find this out, all you need to do is to add whatever the value of a is to the y coordinates that were given to you as part of your y equals f of x graph. Similarly, y equals f of x minus a this is a translation of minus a in the y direction, which means your graph will end up moving down by the value of whatever a is. Again, all you need to do here is subtract the value of a from your y coordinates that were given to you originally in your graph y equals f of x. My next two are y equals a f of x, where the a is on the outside of the function of x. What this means is a stretch in the y direction by scale factor a. Ultimately, what this means is you need to multiply your y values by a. And finally here, we've got y equals f of ax, where the a this time is inside the brackets. This will be a stretch in the x direction by scale factor of 1 over a. So you need to multiply your x values given in on the graph y equals f of x by 1 over a. If you've got a fraction, the scale factor will be the reciprocal of the fraction. Therefore, if you were given y equals f of a half x, you would then multiply your x values by 2. The final two that I've got for you is y equals f, uh, sorry, negative f of x. This is a reflection in the x-axis because what we need to do here is multiply our y values by negative 1. If you think about it, when you multiply a positive value by a negative value, it will then become negative, and therefore anything that was in a positive y quadrant will now become in a negative y quadrant. Finally, y equals f of minus x, where the negative is inside the brackets. This is a reflection in the y-axis, because this time I'm having to multiply my x values by negative 1. In the next video, I'm going to show how we apply these uh, transformations to graphs of y equals f of x.